We've worked very hard over an 18 plus year period to establish those relationships in China. You know, just in the last five years, we've grown in China from 700 stores to over 3,200 stores. We're investing in our partners in China, creating opportunity for them. And in doing that, we feel like we have, we have created a brand that to the Chinese consumer uh, has affinity for. Now, we're not immune to geopolitical issues that may occur, but we do work to ensure that we execute against our strategy, doing the right things for our partners in China, making the right investments, and really playing the long game. So we're aware of you know, geopolitical uh, fallout that could, could occur, but we really want to focus on are we doing the right things for our partners and creating the right experience uh, for our customers in China. I think you're doing everything you can, but what happens if the Chinese government decides to put, say, a dollar, a dollar, the equivalent of a dollar and a half tariff on your coffee? Is that something that could happen? Well, Jim, I, you know, I think that's probably unlikely, but, you know, look, we're, we're going we're gonna to manage our, our, our relationship with uh, our partners in China, with our customers in China for the long term. And we'll navigate whatever situation comes at us, but we'll, we'll do that knowing that we have set the foundation with the right kind of relationship with our partners, the right kind of relationship with our customers, and the right relationship with the Chinese government. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.